Now assuming that you have this file called salary and in this file you store the salary information by month one month in one worksheet and you have 12 months of your salary data with the column organized in the right order for every month of rows changes in different months for example in June we have 28 rows whereas in December the number of rows increased to 45 let's use the synergy words macro here to consolidate the worksheet now you have difficulty consolidating them if you want to find out the total payable for each employee but by using synergy's word add-in you can do that in a split second let me show you how this can be done first close off the salary file and it should remain closed when you run the macro okay in the empty worksheet go to the add-in called synergy works and in synergy works select console worksheet and they will prompt you to select the file that you need to do the consolidation and in our case it's called salary and click on open immediately the macro will run and present you with an empty pivot table and a pivot table field list the fields presented here is the same as what you see in the salary worksheet but we have another additional field called source worksheet which will present to you where the information was taken from for example if you put a source worksheet in the column here and we put in the monthly salary in the data area it will show us that in the general worksheet the monthly salary is 22 224,243.33 let's format the number so that it is easier to read okay double click on sum of month salary and go to number and select the number format that you prefer click ok then let's reduce let's zoom out so that you can see a better view then change the column width to 9 click OK then check off in table options check off the auto format table function so that the pivot table format will not run then since we have 12 months of data we can arrange them by column since an April, May, June and July is in the wrong order, we can just click, drag and drop it after the March. And the pivot table will arrange the information now in the right month. If you want to see the details, what you need to do is to go to the pivot table field list, click on name, drag and drop it into the row area and you'll present you the names of the employee and the month and the monthly salary they are paid for example Alan To for example Alan To was paid starting from July and for Anna she was paid starting from May and you can even see employees who were paid only one month because they just worked for that particular month now let's check the total here for the salary and freeze a pane so that we can see all the information then close off the unnecessary workbook here and open up the salary file and let's do a comparison okay arrange the worksheet in horizontal format and in here we can scroll down and look at the January worksheet which shows 224,000 
So in here, let's do a check for column E, and it shows 224,243.33, same as the data in B52. Now let's do another random check on September. Highlight all the salary information, and you get 364,466.05. And in our pivot table in September, it also show 364,466.05. So I, so our macro will consolidate information from all this worksheet and present it in the pivot table, and save you the time to do consolidation. This is what our macro can do now, and I hope it will help you in your work.